Hi guys, uh, welcome back to another episode on Power BI. In today's video, we are going to learn a little bit about query folding and why it's an important factor in determining the load time of the report. Let me read some points which I picked up from the Microsoft website. Query folding is the ability for a Power Query to generate a single query statement to retrieve and transform source data. A Power Query can send some of the transformation to the source. This means that those transformations take place at the source before any data is sent to the Power Query. Without going deep into the definition, let's quickly head to PBI and with the help of some sample data and an example, I'll demonstrate how and why this is important. Let's go to PBI. Here is a PBX file and as you can see, I have two tables and we are gonna refresh these two, uh, these two tables. And uh, the similarity between these two tables are like both these tables are fetching the data from the same source, okay? But we'll monitor the load time and then I'll explain you later, okay, why one of the table where the query folding is active loads faster and consumes less memory, okay? So before I do that, let me open the external tools and launch the SQL Server Profiler. Okay, so it's opening up. So under the event selection, let me select the job graph and then the progress report, I need the end report. Okay, let me launch this, click on run. So it's it'll start to record the events. And now what I'm gonna do is go back to the dashboard here, the report, and then I'll hit refresh all. Okay. And then I have a PBX file, which I downloaded from the internet, thanks to the creator Phil, and I'll share the link in the description. So with the help of that particular report, let's analyze how much memory and time each table takes to load. And I'll explain the difference between these two tables, even though it's sourcing from the same database, same tables. So uh, I assume the query folding now the table where query folding is active will consume less space, less memory, and then the load time is much faster. Let's check it out. Let's give a couple of seconds for these tables to load. Okay, it's loading now. So ideally it should take another 20 seconds. It's still running. Let's give it a couple of seconds. It's almost done. Okay. So now I'll go back to the SQL Server Profiler and then stop the trace file and go to the file. I'll save as trace XML files. So I've already mapped the location. So what I'll do is replace the old one, which I was just experimenting yesterday. I'll replace this, replace it with a new one, and then head back to the file, which I downloaded from the internet, that is analyze my file. So I'll share the description. I'll share the URL in the description and thanks to the creator as well. I think it's Philip. So what I'll do is I'll just click on refresh. So let's see what is the time to load each table and also the CPU usage. And let's decide which is good one. And then I'll let's head to the other PBX file and I'll explain what is the difference between these two tables.
So let's give it a second. Working on it. Okay. So now the total duration is one minute, six seconds and total CPU time 14K. So let's click on the query folding. Let's see how much time did it consume. So it took almost like uh, 2360 total CPU time and 53 seconds. Let's click on the no query folding. So if you see the total CPU time is much, much higher. It's almost like double. So four, five, 4,500 and here to 360 and it took 53 seconds and this took 57 seconds. It clearly indicates that the query folding technique will perform better than the no query folding technique. So I'll go back to my other file and I'll explain why this was faster. So if I go back to this data and then if you notice here right so we have almost same data in each of these two tables the same number of columns same number of rows and in this table as well the same number of rows and columns and ideally the source is also same the same database server etc but if you notice here if i go to the transform data so let's give it a second So the query folding, if you see, no, let's let's pick the first one, no query folding. So we have the source coming up from the SQL database and then the navigation. So if you see here, here it's query folding is active till here. So let me click on this. So the query folding is active till here. Oops. And then I did some changes here, which breaks the query folding. So if you see here, I changed the type in this particular column. It was text, I changed it to an integer. And then after that, I had added a custom column here. So where I'm uh, multiplying quantity with total to get my grand total. So I added a custom step and then I'm filtering rows here. So I'm filtering for only Apple. So basically the query folding is not working after this point that is change. If I go to the other one, so if you see here, so the query folding is active till the last step here. So if you see here, the filter rows, unity query. So you see it's it's active. So uh, it, it's able to convert the M language into SQL and then pass the query directly into the source. And and also, if you notice here, right, so all the calculation which I have done here, example, the grand total, I, I don't have grand total here. So what I've done is, let me close this one. So if you notice this query folding technique, so the grand total calculation is done here, not in the query data. So maybe for all these reasons, uh, the query folding, the query which which has active query folding will perform better than the, the query which doesn't have the query folding. So, so this is a great improvement in performance, especially when, you, when you're dealing with a, a large data site. So it's, it's good to make sure that you, if you are doing some transformation, so it's always better to do it either in the source itself or if your transformation can be done at the table level i would suggest to do at the table level so that your load time and cpu usage will be minimal and your report will load faster so i hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions please drop me a note in the comment section and revert back to you and thanks for watching